Today, you're going to learn how to transfer files from your PC to your iPhone in five easy steps with no additional plugins, no additional software, no VLC, no iTunes, and without any drop in quality and for free. It's basically like AirDrop for your PC. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesdays with me, Camilo Castaneda for DKD21 Media. At the time of this video, we are at 1,119 subscribers, which is insane. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody that has joined this community. You are all greatly appreciated. And I hope this video brings you some value. So if you click on this video, you know that you cannot directly transfer files from your PC to your iPhone using a cable. You can only transfer videos and photos the other way around, which is a bit of a joke in my opinion. And there are many YouTube videos out there showing workarounds using different software like VLC, using iTunes, using clouds. And up until recently, I have been using Google Drive to just upload my videos and photos and then download them onto my iPhone. And it's not always reliable as well. And we don't have time for this stuff in our busy lives, do we? We're gonna be using the network and sharing capabilities of a Windows PC. And every PC has this function, so you can definitely do it. It's basically what you use to connect printers and to other networks. But don't worry, if you're like me and not a tech nerd, I have broken this down into five easy steps that are very easy for you to follow. So step one is to actually go to the control panel of Windows. We click on the Windows Start icon and we type in Control Panel. And then we go to Network and Internet. And then we go to Network and Sharing Center. So once we're here, we go to step two, which is to change your advanced sharing settings. So once we click on this, we have different profiles. Regardless of the profile that you have, you want to turn on your file and printer sharing settings. It's the same if you're on guest or public. Once you do that, you want to also go to all networks and you want to turn on sharing so that anyone with network access can read and write files on public folders. And that's what you want. If the iPhone has access, you want it to be able to read files and write them at the same time. When I originally did this and I just did private, I turned this on, it didn't actually work. But once I turned this on, it actually did work. So once we're ready, we save our changes. We go to the easiest step in the process. That is step three to restart your computer. So we're going to go to Windows and we're going to restart. So whilst it's restarting, we want to go into step four, which is to download FE File Explorer. So this app is free and it basically allows you to connect to different networks, be that on a computer or a Mac or whatever. So once your computer has restarted, if you go to our File Explorer and we go to network at the bottom left, we see we have computer, desktop, 2U, TCI, blah, 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 blah. And if you double click on this, we can see there are users and this is our user. It's got my user and it's got the public user. Basically, this is where we're gonna upload all the files. These are all the files that are actually located in your local disk. So if you go to a local disk and we go to users, it's the same things here. So if you're like me and you have things saved in different hard drives, I have storage A, storage B, and you wanna transfer something, you just gotta copy it over to your local disk drive and it'll copy over to your phone. So step five is to actually connect your phone to your computer and this is the easiest part. You basically go to the plus icon, you go to Windows, and you're gonna see at the bottom, there is network neighborhood and you can see it says there desktop to UTC IPA and it's the same as the one that we see here in network. When we click on that, it says, do you want to connect as a registered user or a guest? You want to do registered user. And here is where I had a bit of a freak out. It asked for my login and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? So this is basically how you log into your computer. If you log in using an Outlook account, you will type this in, or if you just log in using a username and a password, then you also do that. If you don't know what your username is like me, you can very easily go to control panel again, go to user accounts, go to user accounts again, and it says here local account and Camilo. And that's what I'm gonna type in. I'm gonna type in Camilo and then my password that I just used to, which is just the pin that I used to uh, unlock my computer. And there you go, I have officially connected my PC to my iPhone. So let's actually test if this works. So here I have a video I'm going to upload on Monday and this is saved in one of my additional hard drives. So I'm just gonna right click, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to the network, users, Camilo. I'm gonna make a folder here to make it easy, call it iPhone. And in this folder, I'm gonna make a folder called videos. And I'm going to right click and paste this video. Now, if I just go onto my phone, I go to users, go to Camillo. Uh, I already see the folder iPhone. 
I see videos and there's a video. The video is literally right there and it took seconds. Now this is quite important. To save it, there are two ways. If you actually click on the three dots and you click download, it saves you onto your iCloud drive and to access this, you have to go through your files. So if you wanna save it to your camera roll, you click share, it downloads it really quickly. And then you just click to save video. And once that's done, you can actually go to your photos, recents, and the video is right there. It's literally like airdrop. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. I hope this brought you some value, at least taught you something that you didn't know. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like so other people can see it and you get recommended more awesome content. And if you wanna see more videos like these, consider subscribing to the channel to join the community that we have built together. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.